I'm sorry, I will never do that again, my bad. The latest biopic of the group NWA, and it shows the rise, fame, and the downfall of the group. This movie is great. I love Straight Outta Compton. I mean, out of all the films of 2015, this has to be in my top 10. Out of all the films of 2015, we had an adaptation of a cartoon by the Talking Sponge, an unpopular comic book being an awesome movie, a minor comic book character another being another awesome movie, another Avengers team-up film, Another Terminator film, which is disappointing. Another Fantastic Fix Pixar film. And another Jurassic Park film. And another Marvel film, which completely butchered the source material. Cat in this movie is freaking phenomenal. The actors in this movie portray these people are freaking amazing. I'm just sitting here like, are these the actors portray portraying these people? Or are these the actual people? I mean, especially O'Shea Jackson Jr., who plays his own father, Ice Cube. Ice Cube's son is playing his own father in this movie. How freaking great is that? That is awesome. I mean, his mannerisms and everything, the way he talks, it's like, ain't no calm down. What are you talking about, man? Talk about, that's Ice Cube. That is Ice Cube. That is Ice Cube. I mean, I'm just sitting there like, that's his son, but he's at the same time, that's his father right there. That's him portraying his father. That is awesome. What I also did like about this film is that not only is it focused on the group, it shows how in the 80s and 90s, how police used to treat their black people who look or act like game bangers. Because you, you dress like a game banger or act like a game banger and you're black. You're screwed. Another plus for Stray Outta Compton is that it focuses on Ice Cube, Easy e and Dr. Dre, who's basically their movie. It's basically just had DJ Yetla and MC Ren in the background. Being a minority in this, which I don't really care. Which, Paul Giamatti and Jerry, their manager. Which, I like Paul Giamatti. He's a great actor. He can be a great dramatic actor and great comedic actor. But him and Jerry, he's not bad. He's not bad at all. He's actually pretty good in the role, but I thought he was just at the same time he was miscast. I don't buy him as his guy. I mean, this should have gone with somebody else. I mean, Paul Giamatti doesn't really fit for this role. I'm, that was just me. And that's pretty much all I got to say about Stratic Hot. It's my, one of my favorite movies of the year. One of the best, uh, one of the better biopic films. And really what this, what made this movie kind of smile is that at the end credits, what all the, all the cast was doing, all the people were doing, that what Ice Cube was started doing the acting career. They showed clips from Boys in the Hood and show a big clips from Friday, which is kind of funny because F. Gary Gray directed Friday. He also directed this movie, which is kind pretty dope. And the scene with Easy e passes out, which is not a spoiler, obviously. When it's that scene with Easy e passes out, in that room, you can, you can spot a Chucky poster in that room. Yes, he, yeah, there is a Chucky poster when it's seen with Easy e passes out, which is kind of, kind of, kind of really funny. I'm giving it straight out of Compton. And hey! Speaking of music group, I'd like to leave a shout out to a music group that subscribed to me on YouTube called Monday Crowd. It's Monday like the, like the week Monday and crowd like you're in a crowd. I'd like to leave a shout out to them. I'll leave the link to the, to the channel description down below. Thanks for subscribing to me guys. You are great. I love your music. Love your voices. You guys are awesome. And what do you think of straight out of content in the comment section down below? Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.